So, welcome again. Uh, this is the Tojo Course 2. So, as you may have heard probably, there was a Tojo Course 1. Uh, we have made that also physical and online Orchard course about two, three years ago. Uh, it was on Orchard 1.7, I think. Now we are on Orchard version 1.10.1 and 1.10.2 will be out uh, in a few days, weeks as well. So, this is now an updated course. I'm Zoltan Lewoski, by the way. Uh, the other trainer on this course will be Benedek Farkas. We are from the company Lombic Technologies. Um, and we have our website here, by the way, under lombic.com. We are a Hungarian company from Budapest. But we almost exclusively work with foreign clients, mostly from North America and Western Europe. We are pretty much focused on Orchard. Um, we are a three and a half year old company, uh, but we personally with Benedek have been doing Orchard for about five years, maybe now, uh, almost six. Um, and we have some, some pretty big names as uh, clients as well, like Microsoft itself. We have done for some training for them too. So uh, you could also say that you are now getting the same training as Microsoft. Mm, we have about 15 developers, by the way, on board, from, uh, not just from Budapest, but uh, from other parts of the country as well, um, since we, we also function a little bit as an open source community, just like Orchard, we are not tied to a single location. We are pretty much uh, doing everything online, of course. Well, first of all, what is Orchard and why should we care? Um, well, Orchard is a content management system, that means that it's, and it's a web content management system. It means that it's, um, first of all, a good base application to, um, to have all the usual features of a web application or just any other website there. And also it's a framework for software developers. So it's not just a foundation to, to uh, use as users, but also for software developers to build actual web applications on. So it has some cool stuff for users, just as for developers. And now let's see what um, the Orchard ecosystem is. So if you want to know something about Orchard, if you are looking for answers, if you want to get help, where to look? Well, um, the obvious first page um, you need to know about is orchardproject.net. The orchardproject.net is well, the home page of Orchard. So, as you can see, we have a few cool stuff here. And by the way, the Orchard Harvest New York conference just finished a few days ago. That's why you have this banner here. Um, on the homepage, we have kind of the heartbeat of the community. Uh, blog posts related to Orchard are also published here. As you can see, well, the latest ones are all about Orchard Harvest. Now, how to get Orchard and how to learn about Orchard. Well, uh, getting Orchard, uh, can, you can um, see how it is possible under this download menu. Uh, there are variative options. Now, we are all software developers here, so we will use the full source code. This might be something new to you, uh, or something strange, but if you are developing with Orchard, you will use the full source code of Orchard, since it's an open source project, um, and you will just get the uh, Visual Studio solution, open that and, and run that and work with that. You will build Orchard yourself. Um, this is not something complicated. You don't need anything special apart from a stock Visual Studio, well, uh, preferably 2015 at this time, or, or uh, almost 2017. But otherwise, nothing else. For other use cases, there are other options as well. But if you are doing something serious, you will always uh, start with um, a full Orchard source code and an Orchard solution. And well, uh, there is also some documentation, uh, which is, as of now, uh, pretty comprehensive. Well, um, basically, um, every basic concept of Orchard is explained here. Uh, there are also tutorials in here, there are also external tutorials linked because there are quite many external resources in the Orchard ecosystem as well. 
Um, by the way, as mentioned, Orchid is open source. That means that uh, it's not just that you can change the source and, and actually rebrand it if you would like to, uh, but you can also look into the source and learn from it. So uh, it's, it's not just a, a, a given thing that you need to work with the solution. You can also see its advantages since you have all the uh, Orchid features at your hands. If you want to build something new, you will find examples readily there. But there are a lot of community resources as well. If you go back, uh, we will also see that there are some localization uh, resources here as well. Orchard is um, Orchard supports localization. Uh, that means that you can create websites that uh, target multiple cultures and multiple languages. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, aspects to it uh, for developers and users alike. We will cover, cover that later. We also have an Orchard Gallery, uh, which is uh, kind of the module and theme repository for Orchard. Uh, modules and themes are, are uh, types of Orchard plugins. We will cover that, um, uh, that later as well, and we will develop themes and modules too. We will start with themes and go with uh, modules. Uh, basically, if, if you are searching for some functionality in Orchard that is not readily available, you might want to look at the gallery to see whether somebody has already uh, developed it. But not every uh, module and theme out there is in the Orchard Gallery. And uh, well, since it's open source, uh, you can also contribute. Um, probably this is not something you will start with, but uh, there are some low uh, barrier of entry contributions to um, like some uh, fixing some typos, you can very easily start with that. Uh, by the way, uh, if we take a look at the Orchid project on GitHub, and I'm opening it, oops, that's the documentation. Well, let's open it. Under or on github.com slash Orchid CMS, we have all the Orchid related repositories. And well, the most important one as of now is the Orchid repository, uh, surprisingly. Here we have the whole Orchid source code. And if you take a look at um, uh, the contributors, you will see that there are quite a lot. Um, there are a lot of individuals and a lot of companies behind um, Orchard and contributing to Orchard. Uh, well, here are the top ones. Uh, well, Lombic Technologies, our company is here as well. And uh, but Sebastian is the top contributor. Sebastian is from Microsoft. And Microsoft is is also supporting Orchard in multiple ways. So let's get back to Orchard. Uh, well, yeah, and. There was a discussion board, but it's, it's not really uh, living anymore. But if you have issues with Orchard uh, problems, or you have um, some feature requests, or want to provide feedback uh, in some way, you can go to the Orchard repository page and open issues. So this is on GitHub. Uh, you should be quite familiar with it already. You can just open issues, and they will be tri triaged. Com other community members will get into a discussion with you. So, uh, now let's see, uh, since we have already covered the Orchid ecosystem and, and how to get, get Orchid resources, let's see some notable Orchid examples. Because you may, you may ask that, all right, I see Orchid is cool, if you say so, uh, but I don't really believe you. Show me, uh, show me what you got. <laughs> and show me what others got. Now, uh, there is another, uh, another cool Orchid website, which is, uh, by the way, also hosted by us. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, uh, that's not the reason why I'm telling you this. It's Orchard Dojo. Uh, it's also an Orchard training website. Uh, but it's an Orchard training website. It has a lot of Orchard web, uh, resources under orcharddojo.net. And uh, there is also a sync under resources and Dojo library 
called the Dojo library. And under the Dojo library, we have an Orchard Link collection. If you haven't uh, noted everything done, or, or uh, you just want to refresh your memories, here you can see a list of notable Orchard websites, including community sites, because we have some local community sites, including for Hungary. We have quite many blogs uh, from the Orchard community, but as mentioned, on orchardproject.net, all of these are accumulated as well. And you know, there are some other websites uh, you may want to check out too. Uh, and here, we also have some Orchard examples. And then not, to, not to have to uh, type in the URLs uh, myself, I would just go to these links. And for example, these. So let's take a quick look. For example, uh, Microsoft Office's fast track website, which is uh, just loading now, is also Orchard. So, uh, well, Orchard was started by Microsoft uh, in 2009, I think. Uh, but since then, it's community driven. But still, Microsoft itself is using Orchard as well. For example, on this website, which is completely Orchard. Uh, there are some websites where you will never tell that it's Orchard or where uh, the technology behind the website is, is not the main point. For example, um, here's the John Veritas website. Uh, John Veritas is a, is a US clothing brand, a premium clothing brand. And um, this pretty nice website for them was created uh, by a company from uh, Los Angeles Santa Monica called Panstop. Um, the website for Toyota South Africa is also an Orchard website. Um, we are showing you this because uh, this website looks pretty good. It has a lot of bells and whistles. Again, here the, the, the point was not to um, create an Orchard website, but to deliver a very good website. And the company uh, creating it, Hello Computer, well, used Orchard as the underlying technology. Well, um, um, American football is pretty big on the other side of the pond. And there is an NFL Players Association as well, which, curiously, also uses Orchard for their website. So NFLP.com is also an Orchard website. Now, uh, something again uh, from Lombic. .nest.com is kind of like WordPress.com for Orchard, if you know that. And, um, basically, you sign up, and after a quick registration, you push a button, and now you have an Orchard website, hosted entirely by us. It's managed for you. You don't have to care about deploying it or maintaining it technically. And you can click that Create Orchard Site button as many times as you wish, because it's free. Well, the basic service is free. Uh, but long story short, if you want to uh, ramp up some Orchard websites quickly, .nest is an easy way to do that. Since this is a developer course, we won't use .nest, although it also allows you a variety of developer-level customizations. But we'll deep dive into the source code, as mentioned, with, uh, with Orchard solution. Um, Associativity is kind of an example of something where, where it's, it's curious that there's Orchard in the background. It's basically an associative knowledge base. Um, well, you can use it to store pieces of knowledge and connect them with associative connections and then let the, um, let the machine kind of guess uh, just as a human would with associations. So, uh, for example, if you uh, if you make it guess something along a power plant and uh, or, or, or electricity and and green, then it will probably think about solar power. Uh, you can check it out if you if you are interested. And another thing, which is now on GitHub, is the Orchard application host. Um, this is something uh, again what we have done. Uh, but I think it's quite cool. Um, 
I mentioned that Orchard is not just a CMS, but also a, a framework, and an application framework. And we will see a lot of these framework aspects during the course. But the, the Orchard application host, you can also utilize it as a generic application framework, not just for the web. So if you are developing a desktop application or a cloud worker, uh, then you can also use Orchard and utilize the various basic framework features in any application, not just web applications. So, uh, that was um, the short intro, intro into Orchard. And now we will deep dive into actually running it and trying it out.